Dozens of people from across the country gathering at Nova Southeastern University for the ICABA Salutes Men Who Lead event, which was sponsored by Truist. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of a lot of people today. You know, we particularly have some, some, some younger leaders here with us today. Remember I said about connecting, I talked about collaborating and building a community. If there's something that you know, someone that you know, a resource that you have available to you, come up to Zalen and say, hey, I know somebody that can help you with that. I'm serious. I mean, I guarantee there is somebody right now sitting in this room that knows something somebody of some resource that could help him. Braver Theater started as a vision when I was in sixth grade, when I knew I wanted to own a theater company and one day even a theater building. Um, and since then it has matriculated and it has grown since I attended Florida a and University where I studied business and theater. Thank you so much for pouring into young people such as myself, um, your wisdom. The award signifies those who not only achieve excellence in their industry, but build up their communities in the process. What I do is access the capital, and I advocate for entrepreneurs. I'm glad to be here at Cabo. What brought me here is that I was nominated as an honoree for the Saluting Men Who Lead. Um, and it was great to be honored by your peers that understand the work that you put in. Um, but more than that, it's great to be in a room of black honorees, black men that are making a change in the community and the culture for the better and for the betterment of our culture. Mr. Brown is the founding partner. I do what I do because I know that there are so many others out there that need a, a opportunity, that need a chance, that need someone to stand up and fight for them. And it is my honor to do so on a daily basis. ICABA is known for creating an atmosphere where you can connect, collaborate, and build communities. And this event did just that. Attendees were given time to build relationships and enjoy a delicious meal together. This is actually our second in-person event in three years, which is highly unusual for a company that has done 300 events over the past 12 years. So I am really, really happy and excited to be in a room with people that we can actually As touch. a woman, I go to so many events where women are being honored, and so rarely do I see prominent black men being honored. And I think that is such a service because there are so many men doing so many things that I didn't even know, and I've been living here for years. And Hutch has provided, and ICOB has provided a platform for the rest of the world to see it. There were 15 chosen for the ICABA Salutes Men Who Lead Award. The honorees, a culmination of high-profile industries, nonprofits, and government. One of the first things that I set out doing is setting the vision for people. And I think you should never assume that people know what it is you're trying to achieve. Uh, no matter when you're, when you're visionary and you want to move forward quickly, there are always people in the back that are scared. Uh, we've set up these same types of platforms, um, but never on a global level, only on a local. So I salute ICABA as well for the excellent job they're doing. Thank you, Ernest. Thank you very much. Uh, first, thank you to ICABA and thank you uh, as well for making me a part of such a, a magnificent cohort of honorees. Um, first, I want to report out, leaders always have to tell the truth and speak well of their peers. Our table has met the challenge. We are connecting, collaborating. We got all kinds of connections we've worked out. Right, I'm, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing for me. Can you everybody put the hands up? Okay, all right. Now, I'm Jerome and Terry, I've been a nonprofit uh, executive director for the last 25 years. And one of the things I promised my board of directors is that I would shake hands with everybody before I leave. <laughs> so I fulfilled my promise. <laughs> I wish, but I just want to say, ladies, thank you. Many of the honorees giving great thanks for the Men Who Lead Award and being recognized for their superpower. This high-tech hybrid event was shot from every angle for everyone watching to feel like they were in the room. My dad was in a lot of pain, and I remember asking my mom, what's wrong? He's like, well, we don't have money for your dad's pain medication or what have you. And... It, it was, it just hurt me so bad. I had a belief at that moment that said, 
I hate money. I hate money. Anything you hate does not flow into your life, right? Anything that you what? Hate does not flow into your life. And why did I hate money? Because I believed the world would be better without money. Like, it's not fair. It's not fair that we can't have medical care because of money. It just didn't seem fair to me. And so for years and years, I hated money. Then I met my dad when I was 18 years old. Incredible black women raised me, a grandmother and a mother. Yes, I did meet my dad, but he was more about business than family. You cannot be about business and be and call yourself successful if you don't take care of your own. For the first time, ICABA World Network also establishing an award in memory of Dr. John W. Ruffin Jr. for his legacy of excellence, professionalism, and philanthropy. Someone paved the way. They helped you along the way. And I never forget that I am where I am and who I am because of others who came into my life. So remember that. God bless you, and may he shower you with blessings. Thank you. Mr. George Tinsley Sr., the first recipient of the John W. Ruffin Jr. <laughs> Business and Civic Award. So you get in the middle. Yeah, you, get the middle. <laughs> you, you, you are the awardee, so we have to put you in the middle. I, I, I just want to say thank you. It's a great honor. The Ruffin family, well known, well known in our business, in the aviation business. And of course, I've uh, followed the track record of all this, the work that is done by, by you, your husband, and your family. So congrats, congratulations on what you've done, and thank you for the honor. Remember. We're going to do three things, right? Connect, collaborate, and build a community. So I want to see you in the community. You're going to get your invite. I want to see you show up. And you know what? Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. You do your part.